Welcome back to another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. I'm Satoli. Today I'm on the east side of Ohio where I came across this old abandoned steel through truss bridge. Stay tuned and we'll check it out. Before we get started, let's talk about the definition of a ghost road and a phantom bridge. If you have already seen my introduction to ghost roads and phantom bridges, skip ahead to about the two and a half minute timestamp. A ghost road is a roadway that was once owned or is currently owned by the county. This road originally carried traffic on a daily basis, but over the years, the county may have chosen to no longer maintain the road or to close it completely. The road may now be private property or could still be owned by the county. A phantom bridge is a span that was once used on a daily basis to cross a body of water. A phantom bridge is always located on a ghost road and can be one of the ultimate finds during a road tour. Phantom bridges were usually bypassed after the current roadway was realigned. A phantom bridge can usually be located near a bridge currently in use. A good way to spot phantom bridges is to look left and right when crossing a bridge. Sometimes these bridges may be up to 100 yards up or downstream from the current bridge location. Now that we know about ghost roads and phantom bridges, let's take a look at this old bridge. Built in 1894 by the Rod Iron Bridge Company of Canton, Ohio, the Wills Creek Bridge is about 162 feet long and spans Wills Creek just southeast of Birds Run, Ohio. I'm not too sure when the bridge was abandoned, but I believe it was still open as late as 2007. The Rod Iron Bridge Company plaque has been stolen, but supposedly a marble abutment plaque remains, although I couldn't find it on either of my two trips to the bridge. Ohio Bridge historian David Simmons states, and I quote, It's remarkable for how well preserved it is. Virtually nothing has changed since the day it was built, except, as Nathan Holth with HistoricBridges.org notes, removal of the nameplate. It's a classic design by the Rod Iron Bridge Company from Canton. They were among the largest and most prolific metal bridge builders in the U.S., Nobody but the Rod Iron Bridge Company turned their verticals so the lattice work faced out and few used the special basket handle design to connect the tension verticals and the lower pins. Even the floor beam hangers are still intact. This is a real gem from a metal bridge enthusiast, unquote. On my second visit to the bridge in November 2023, I used my newly purchased drone to get a few aerial shots. Months later, when I began editing the video, I noticed a set of concrete bridge abutments about 500 feet north of the bridge. Upon further investigation, I found out the abutments were for the former Cleveland and Marietta Railroad, and the bridge for the railroad, now gone, was built at the same time as the Wills Creek Vehicle Bridge. The bridges were possibly built at the same time in order to reduce costs due to having equipment and supplies readily available in the area. What I also inadvertently filmed with the drone was the spur sidetrack that ran parallel to the creek and directly in front of the bridge. I believe the sidetrack was to allow trains running from the town of Kimbolton to run off on the spur to make way for trains coming from Bird's Run. The portion of the spur running from Bridge Road back to the main line is now a private driveway. 
plenty of interesting information coming out about this railroad in a future video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching another edition of History in Your Own Backyard. And remember, travel slowly and stop often. I'll see you next time.